So I was out at a brewery the other day, which is becoming an extremely common occurrence in my life nowadays, and I was perusing the beer menu, and I saw the usual IBU ratings, which are a fairly standard measurement of beer. But when I got to the sour they had on tap, it had its own measurement of TA and a number. Today we're going to take a look at the mysterious TA measurement and discover a new way to measure sour beer. Hello beer nerds, this is Beer by the Numbers. As sour beers become more and more popular, especially here in my local Minnesota market, brewers are looking for additional ways to measure their beers across batches to foster consistency. Today we'll be examining what the heck titratable acidity is and why it's important for the growth of sour beer styles. Let's also shoot for 20 likes on this video so it doesn't turn sour like that yogurt lurking way back in my fridge. Without any further ado, let's get started. So in our last video on measuring beer, we looked at IBUs and talked about measuring alpha acids to get an empirical measurement on the relative bitterness of a beer. I'll throw a link in the description below in case you haven't seen it yet. Now other than IBUs and gravity, it's really hard to measure a beer in a way that lets you know you're making it the same way every time, which can be a problem for commercial brewers and the expectations of beer fans everywhere. Now imagine you're brewing sour beer, one with low hop flavors and generally lower ABVs. Gravities and IBUs suddenly aren't exactly the most relevant measurements you could be taking. Now for beers that prominently feature an acidic sour flavor, we'd really like to measure the acid content of a beer. That's where titratable acidity comes in. That first word, titratable, comes from the chemistry term titration, which is an attempt to quantify an unknown amount of a substance with a known one. Now, in high school chemistry, the titration experiment often involves slowly mixing two solutions together and then doing some math to determine the strength of the unknown solution because you already had one, you knew how strong it was. Titration is really useful when it comes to measuring the acidity of a solution, which fortunately is what we're trying to measure in our sour beers. If you remember back to your chemistry classes, acids are all about how many free-floating hydrogen ions are roaming around in a solution. The more rogue hydrogen, the more sour or acidic the beer is going to taste. So titratable acidity asks how much of a given base, usually for beer uh, sodium hydroxide, neutralizes the acids in a known volume of beer. The units of TA can be quoted in grams per liter, or in other words, how many grams of a specific acid are in a beer to bring the pH of that beer to a predetermined level, usually to the neutral value of pH, which is 7. If all that flew over your head, don't worry. Imagine adding ice to hot water until you bring it to room temperature, then being able to estimate how hot the initial hot water was based on how much ice you had to add to bring it to an even state. So why care about titratable acidity anyway? Well, pH quantifies the number of hydrogen ions in a liquid, but your palate doesn't really measure pH directly. Your palate and brain have to interpret the multivariable solution that is beer. Titratable acidity attempts to put another quantifiable handle on your beer akin to pH. However, this measurement better captures how acidic the beer may taste to you. If you want more information behind the math to calculate titratable acidity, I'll put a great article in the description below. You can get your beer nerd fix in there. So this summer, as sour beers make their triumphant return, if you spot a TA measurement next to your beer, you'll know that your brewer really cares about making great and consistent sour beers. If you didn't sour on this video, consider leaving me a like below. It really helps a small brew tuber out. And if you want to be alerted each time we tap a fresh episode of Beer by the Numbers, hit that subscribe button. Stay curious, beer nerds, and as John Randolph once said, mean spirits under disappointment, like small beer in a thunderstorm, always turn sour.